Alright, so if you guys want to wear, I shot a music video and basically I used this sort of uh, Google Earth um, type of effect in the intro and a lot of people are asking me, you know, to how I actually did this. So I thought I'd make a tutorial and if this does well, then I'll make more of these sort of kinds and we're going to turn it into something cool that kind of looks like this. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. So we're going to be using something called um, Google Earth Studio. Um, it's not an app. It's a, it's a website. Maybe there's a web. Maybe there's an app, but I, um, I got it from the website. Um, basically, you have to sign up. Um, you might be on the waiting list for a bit, and then yeah, they just give it straight to you. Um, yeah, so let's hop in. Um, click blank template, and then you know just name it whatever you need. Um, check your settings too, and the template looks pretty much like any editing software. You feel me? So. Um, yeah you, there's files um there's the edit tab um there's you know it's it's pretty familiar if you to anyone if you know how to edit so here let's just go into um paris so let's use paris as an example um you feel me um you can adjust the long the longitude the latitude and the altitude the altitude is basically how tall you are um from the ground um then you can go into the settings you can click you know customize a lot of things um you know customize some things you know which are going to be obviously helpful to you know what type of video you you want to want to make out of this um yeah so i hear i'm just you know adjusting some settings um you know just you know just adjusting um the, the latitude and the longitude and you know there's there's two screens one for your video and then one for your map which is kind of helpful um, then right now I have the camera target turned on and you can see as I drag the red thing around um, It basically just changes the perspective, but it's still locked on um, Which is pretty cool um, So I like, even change the tilt as I get further farther away um, And you know when I click play um, And set a keyframe um, And yeah, you can set keyframes. Um, so here I've just I've just set a keyframe before um, then move to where I wanted to end and set another keyframe there and you feel me when I play um, You can see this sort of really cool slow um, But cinematic motion and yeah, but it's like this is literally um, A great replacement if you don't have a drone um, So let's go to Paris to um, the Eiffel Tower The Eiffel Tower um, So let's go to um, the Eiffel Tower to show you like, like the actual video that I made um, The example that I made with this um, yeah, so I set the I set the target on the Eiffel Tower um, And yeah, as you see like as I move around like it literally changes like the tilts changes everything um, For this fake drone effect to to look um, as best as it can You probably want to get quite low to the ground or at least like quite low to buildings um, quite close to build buildings um, And then you're gonna want to um, Adjust the field of view so it actually looks like a FPV drones because like these drones they be having like really wide angle um view so i set mine to like i think 120 or something um yeah and then as you can see as you you know scroll past it looks really cinematic um yeah it looks just like um a drone when you when you go past so yeah um and then having a wide angle it means that the closer you get to your subject um you know you won't you won't have to worry about getting too close so i'll just set a, a keyframe at the start um where i am at the start um, and then I'm gonna set one where I want the animation or the movement to end um, You know, just pick the best spot possible, you know, don't pick it too close But pick it close enough so you can um, you can see obviously what sort of monument or area um, That you know, you want to you want to zoom in on um, Then what I wanted to do here was create like a curve like a bend um, So it doesn't just go in a, in a straight line um, so you just you know adjust it you create another keyframe and you can use like the bezier like curves um, To just like adjust adjust it or whatever um, And yeah, then you just play and you know it does you know it does You just play and it looks pretty cool. Um, there's still a couple more things we could do to make it kind of smoother um, But yeah, that's pretty much it for the for the movement and then we can adjust the roll um, so that it looks like an actual drone because um as you go to the left when you're in a drone you tip you tip one side and then as you go to the right when you're in a drone you, you tip the other side so you know adjust the roll make it look as realistic as possible because this is this is literally a fake drone effect so you're going to want to make it look as realistic as possible and then you can also adjust the time 
um, the time of day. Um, so I made mine so that it, you know, it, it rapidly like changes the time of day, which I think is pretty cool. Um, then I export it, you know, you, um, you put your beginning and end frame, you can change between, you know, what type of maps you want, you know, um, I wanted a high quality, so, and I put it clear, then you download it, um, and since you're in Chrome, it'll, it'll probably just download straight to your computer, um, which is pretty handy, um, and then, yeah, then, um, we get this out, and then I added some blur, added some color grading, and, you know, then we got, um, this, which is pretty cool, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of the, um, the video if you really like this sort of tutorial then let me know i really want to make more of these because i have a couple more um effects that i did in my music video i'm gonna make more of these type of videos and yeah thanks for watching and yeah in a bit. <laughs>